we're going to open some more fantastically beautiful, I hope, I'm sure. <laughs> Either way, it's fun because this is a wonderful gift of jewelry from a subscriber named Maria, and I am going to link her stores in my uh, description box today. I finally got them linked up, so you'll see them after the video, so you can go check out her Instagram and her stores on Macari and eBay, but she is a... Uh, a subscriber who offered to give me 57 pounds, approximately 60 pounds. And my husband just told me it's actually a little over 60 pounds. So quite a bit of, of jewelry and we're only on bag two. So let's open it up and see what it entails. I'm super, super excited about it. Again, thank you, Maria. We found some wonderful things already in the first bag and I've already sold a couple of things out of it actually so i'm super super excited about that i do not sell here directly on the channel guys but if you're ever interested don't hesitate to email about anything you see in a haul and i do live auctions every saturday at 5 p.m central over on facebook and all that information is always in the description boxes as well so welcome I'm not taking any peeks or anything uh oh i was going to put on a ring to show you hold on i'll be right back look at that and see if you see anything interesting because everyone was asking about this ring let me put it on again that'll give people a chance to come in Okay. Yeah, I had some other rings on. And, well, I left my other one. I always start my videos with people wanting to know, um, with what people have been wanting to know, which is the rings that I'm wearing. So let me show you again. And I actually accidentally put this one on. This one's actually... <laughs> I have two of these, guys. This one is actually gold tone or some kind of costume that I got in a bag. But I do have the original Cartier 18 karat gold. And I accidentally put that one on. And so anyway, you I couldn't tell until I was playing with it. It felt awfully light, and the 18 karat gold's a lot heavier. This is a bypass ring, or um, uh, I don't know, what do you call them? Bypass or twirl ring or whatever. Another one that I found in a jewelry jar was this sterling and coral, and then this Kyle Sydney and pearls. And I'm still looking at the signature of this one. I cannot read it, guys, but it's on the inside. It is also marked 925. This is a beautiful, beautiful ring. This is what you call absolute artisan. And what do I have on there? Piece of plastic. Artisan quality, amazing heirloom quality. This is one solid piece of sterling, guys. I don't know if you can see that. And it is split and twisted and turned and stamped and embellished with genuine pearls and chalcedony. And it takes up two of my fingers. And I actually wanted to wear it with this other. I'm wasting a lot of time right now. But I have a beautiful silpata, this one. I was going to wear it with this one so you guys could see how cute these rings look when they cross your fingers. But I wanted to show you my Alexandrite that I recently acquired. This was also from a, um, from a person that I know that sells absolute quality jewelry. And he acquired it from a, I would say, socialite in Texas. And he was told it was hand uh, custom made in Russia and that it is Alexandrite and it is amazing in 14 karat gold and I wish you could see how deep 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 that pavilion of that stone is it is amazing and everyone was asking me about this one so it kind of sits on the angle as well I don't know if you can tell so it is just so pretty and everyone was asking about it last video so that's why I decided to wear it again and um but see, I was going to wear this one, too, to kind of, on the other hand, but now it covers up the other one, so I'm not going to wear it. That one's called the Sunbeam by Silpata. I love it. But I'll take that one off so we can get busy with the bag. Anyway, welcome. Let me see who's here. You know me. I always have to ramble on. How are you, Miss Sophie? Sanjay and Carrie, thank you guys for joining me, Ben and Bo and Patricia. Thank you, guys. I hope... I see some new names. Hi, Miss Mary Swanson and Emily, Patricia Walters. 
uh, from Hawaii. I am so glad I see some new names in here. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. The subscription is on the right there, and it's always a free subscription. Click that bell as well so that you can be notified when I do live videos like I am now, and you can actually talk to me in the chat. Or when I just do a recorded one, please leave comments because we always want to learn about what you know about something. Well, anyway, so this uh, extremely wonderful gift was given to me by a subscriber. We met up here in Houston. She's a fellow Houstonian. And uh, I told the story in part one. So we're going to finish. This will be part two. This will probably take four parts. I think there are five bags. And I usually take about an hour to get through bags. So... Um, It'll take about probably four videos. And she just said she had wanted to kind of make her way into reselling jewelry. She's a reseller, but not on jewelry. And then she realized it was not going to be for her. So she wanted to give me her entire inventory, which consisted of approximately 60 pounds of jewelry in a beautiful tote bag. I love that tote bag too, Marie. It's so cute. It reminds me of a Kate Spade I once had. But I bought it in Neiman's and resold it on eBay. Well, I used it for years. I used it for like 10 years. Okay, I hope you can see with this angle. I'm going to try to go a little bit. Let me know if it's too far. There, okay. Or too close. This is like an imitation lapis. It's super pretty. It has some marling going on, so it gives it a really nice lapis look. This is a beautiful necklace, it really is, and it's in great condition, it has some different textures, it's all acrylic. Hey, Miss Liz, I'm glad you're here. So, um, I like this, it's very rich looking, it almost looks like that one I sold at my auction last week that had lapis, and genuine lapis and calcite, but they were more like an Egyptian style or something, I love this. These are rondelles in here too, look at that. Wow, we found some good pieces already in that other bag. There was some sterling, genuine stones. These are genuine stones right here. Nice, look at this. This is, this looks like jade. I see the little specks and definitely, it might even be yellow jade as well. Definitely rose quartz here too. And let me know how the lighting is. I hope we don't get too too scrambled my internet's scrambly sometimes guys um i'm glad zombie's in here zombie do you think this might be yellow jade this green one is definitely jade i can see it i can see them you can see on jade guys you can see the um there's like a what is that word i'm looking for like a um, a fibrous look to it and i often see things like little specks of black that look like um See how it looks fibrous? That look like kiwi seeds or something. That, that's what it reminds me of, like tiny little kiwi seeds, only because I guess it's set against the green, right? So that's what I liken it to a lot. But I believe this is jade. I have no idea what the other is. This other little rock here. This might be a ceramic. I'm not sure. This is rose quartz. Absolutely jade. It does not look like adventuring. And I'm not sure about the yellow. But wow, that's a gorgeous piece. Let me see if it has a... It's not a stretch, and I don't see a um, um, clasp. Oh my gosh, Miss Maria, these are gorgeous. This is a beautiful piece. It looks so uh, spring, right? The colors are just beautiful. That's a nice one. This one also is jade. It might be... Um, Sterling, you can see that fiber in there too, and it's got like a little design on it. This looks like that lightweight aluminum, but I'm not sure it could be sterling. Uh, the lightweight chains that I've been seeing a lot. Now it looks like it's just, it's not that light actually, but let me see if I have my, my loop. Here it is. I see a lot of one, some that look like this, and they say Germany on them. Yes. Hi, Otis, how are you? Oh my gosh, I can't even be, this is 18 karat gold built. I can't begin to tell you the thrift stores here in Houston. They're all good. They're all good. I love the family thrifts and the, and the value villages. Those are some of my favorite, but I can't really, I really can't select one over another. This is so pretty. I love this. 
and I always like these sparkly chains. 18 karat gold filled on this one, guys. Honestly, I, I, people will ask me, where, which ones do you go to? I go to all of them. I live 50 miles away from where I work. All right, so I probably pass four Goodwills to and from work, and I hit all of them. <laughs> and then sometimes I'll be sent across town for a meeting, and I go and look around there too. I just ask Siri, nearest thrift store. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that they opened a lot of them. There's a lot of them. My husband tells me, have you been to the one over here? I just found there was a new one over here. And I'm like, no, I haven't. So, yeah, just ask Siri, nearest thrift store, and get there. Because I can't honestly say that there are thrift stores that I don't like. There are some that are like resale, and even those are good, but they might be a little higher. That's a nice one, too. But... Um, Nothing beats Goodwill, guys. And I've been, in, I've um, got to bring you another video as soon as we finish these bags from counter, in, in what I call encounters <laughs> of the Goodwill kind, because you find a lot of nice things in the counters too. I have found really nice things. And today I actually picked out a necklace and two bracelets. And would you believe I forgot to pick it up? I don't know why I do that. I'm so dumb. I always pay for it immediately. And today I didn't. And then I got kind of busy and, and thinking about I need to get home. And then I just paid for a, a planner that I bought. And I forgot about those bracelets. The two bracelets and a necklace. So I'll have to go back and see if they're there tomorrow. One was a bright and really cute. And it was actually signed, which was kind of strange. It had the B, but then it had like a... Maybe it had the purity content or another name on it. But it was definitely bright. And that's a pretty one, that glass one. Look, another shell piece. I think we had one of these in the other bag. Look very similar. This is beautiful. Abalone shell on this one. Let me take you back a little bit. Uh, let me say hello to a couple more people that walked in. Joan, how are you? Joanna, how are you? You want to go to King Dollar in Texas. Is that a, a, a dollar store? Dollar stores are super popular, aren't they? Rush and Alexander. Yes, yes it is. All right, a lot of pixels on my side. Oh, is everyone else getting pixelated too? There's that one. It might be, oh, I don't know. The internet is so crazy. Let me know. I may have to start a new stream. But that's a nice necklace. Hi, Elizabeth K. How are you? Look at this. This is pretty. These are glass. I don't know if the rondelles came off of there. No, there's, there's space between having rondelles and not having rondelles. And what a beautiful color. Let me know, guys, if it's pixelating. Hi, Mona Liz. How are you? Oh, this is J. Crew, guys. J. Crew makes great jewelry. I'm so surprised it's not that giant, giant <laughs> jump ring. It's a decent sized jump ring. I mean, kind of average. That's beautiful, though. I really love this color. That's a beautiful necklace in gold tone. J. Crew. Good, good. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you, Davis. That is awesome. A box. Boxes are good. Right, let's see what's in here. Oh, my gosh, some jade. Yeah, she said there was a couple of crafting pieces. I actually had this before, and I love getting vintage jade because I can study it. Look at that deep, deep jade on that. It's missing the wing on this one. But I actually had this brooch. I don't know if you guys remember. I sold it at my auction. And uh, these, I don't know if they're or if they're coral. They're awfully red. They might not be. But that's definitely jade, and that's a vintage piece there. And that's, oh, look at the eagle. Cloisonne. That's really cute. Hi, Miss Verna. This is pretty and very well made. Look, it's very heavy. Very heavy gold in the back. That's a nice enameling. I've been looking at, um, who is it? David Anderson, his rings. He's got such beautiful rings in, um, you know, the mid-century mod movement. Beautiful rings in enamel. So nice. That's what that reminds me of. That's heavy, too. Is that, what else was in here? Oh, another butterfly. Oh, here's the piece. Oh, we just need to fix that up. 
Awesome. I swear I had the exact brooch. These were pretty common in the 70s. You would see jade a lot in just, uh, you know, um, gold tone and silver tone jewelry. But don't I love having the genuine article? Do you see what I'm saying about the fibrous nature of... And you can see a lot more here of the deeper green, but I wish I could hold it against the light for you. Maybe you can see it, but you can see it fibrous, and you can see those kiwi, what I call kiwi pins. <laughs> but loop, every time you see, you know, especially if you're lucky enough to find some vintage things in a box, many times they'll actually say genuine jade on them. Study those under a loop, so when you do see other pieces that are jade, you'll know. That's a very nice little piece. Cute little butterfly. These are those lightweight brooches, simple C clasp on that. Very cool. You have that one too? Yeah, I know I've had it before and I sold it. And it was hard to sell it, like I said, but I always like to hold on to a few pieces of jade just for educational purposes. Okay, we have something broken in here. And, of course, tangles. Okay, we've got these for the glasses, right? Yeah, these are pretty in the pearls. Those are really cute. To hold your specs and, and this is a kind of a uh, wire necklace with black and silver beads that's cute kind of a fashion piece little this is metal Yeah, guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. There's 66 people. I know it's late, so um, the audience might be a little smaller right now, but hit that thumbs up. It really helps YouTube get the, um, the video out to more people. Here's a kid piece here. I do uh, a lot of kid lots, too. I have jewelry jars for kids, too, and I put things like this in there. But I also put big beads and things that I think little girls like to play with, big bead necklaces. This is pretty. These are glass beads, purples and blues. Okay, then we have a choker piece here, Velcro. And they are kind of, um, kind of an imitation marcasite. Looks like plastic, sparkly. That's cute. Somebody will definitely like that. lunchtime oh is it really in australia it's lunchtime thank you thank you so much parley another box oh goldstone earring i hope the other one's in there i love goldstone look at those little nuggets goldstone's a man-made stone but it's gorgeous nonetheless it's got like a glitter-like effect to it. That's beautiful. <laughs> An eagle in Texas. All right, here we have some earrings that say 14 karat gold, and they're still tagged screw back gold filled screws. 14 karat, these might be, they're saying screw back. I don't know, let's see. Well, oh, look, they've got like the plastic holding them. Oh, my gosh, these are like the perfect little girl earrings or the second piercing earring. Let me see. They are screw back, so these are definitely gold. You know how the finer jewelry is made with that little threading on there? Can you see that? So that you can not lose them. That's pretty cool. They're just little beads, little bead balls in 14 karat. Oh my goodness gracious. They are stamped. They say 14 karat. They're gold filled. They're not gold. They're 120 14 KJCM. But that's nice. That means it actually contains a little gold with other alloys. That's pretty. That is really nice, and I'm glad they're screw back like that. That is so nice. Yeah, these are perfect for little girls for their first earrings 
or for people who have multiple piercings, right? I'm so, I don't see, I know a lot of diamond studs used to be like that with the screw back, but I've found some that aren't, and I prefer when they do that because they do tend to move, especially if you leave them on permanently or for a long time. That's so nice. Look at that, Miss Maria. That is awesome. Well, this, she knew what most of this stuff was, but she said she just didn't want to do the, the research and the education needed to sell jewelry. So she's selling her handbags and other things. And like I said, I will link her channel. Not her channel, but her stores and her Instagram. She has an Instagram for nail polish art, nail art. Okay, this looks like a sterling chain, very long. And then there's another chain there. Wow, nice chain. This is a box chain. Look at that. Boy, this is like 24, no. What? What do you think, guys? Yeah, it's like 30 inches long. I don't have my ruler, but I'm always needing long chains. There, People are always asking me for them. This one, what does it say? 925. 925 on there and the pendant's gorgeous looks like a heart with three heart-shaped amethyst that's gorgeous this is perfect this is perfect it's 925 sas in the back for my sister <laughs> because her late daughter's birthstone is amethyst and I recently bought a beautiful amethyst ring from Kelly. And now I see this. I'm going to give her this too. Her birthday's in May. And instead of giving her her birthstone, I'll give her her daughter's birthstone. Oh, I love it. So pretty. Thank you, Miss Maria. You don't even know how much jewelry means to me and to others. And I'm sure it does to you, but... You know, when you run into special things like that, that you know what you're going to do exactly, exactly what you're going to do with it, because it happens to be an amethyst. It's just really, really special. This is a nice gold bangle. This looks like a good quality bangle. Could possibly be a Monet or something. I don't see any kind of a, it's big. Don't see any kind of a mark on it off the bat. Looks very interesting. I don't have a magnet. Do I, do I, do I? I always have magnets. Where are they? Oh, my goodness. I'll have to test it and get back to you guys because I don't want to take up too much of your time, but that's a beautiful bangle. It's got an interesting color. Could be gold-filled as well or something. <laughs> or something. It's a little big for me, though, but gosh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, thank you. Yes, I think she will. And that ring is amazing. I'll have to wear it. Um, it's like a solitaire. It's just, and it is the deepest purple I've ever seen. Deepest amethyst. But not so deep that it's like, you can't tell it's purple. It's just so beautiful. But I'll have to wear it for a video and then put it in a box because it is amazing. And so is that pendant. This is gorgeous. This is glass. And the green one is really pretty. This is a nice heart here, too. But let me try to pull some of this out a little bit at a time. These are glass. Yes, it's Maria. Is she in here? Laugh, love, polish. That <laughs> There she is. I'm going to link her stores, guys, in the video as soon as I get off of here because I have to go click and copy-paste everything. So you guys can check out her Mercari and eBay stores where she sells everything but jewelry. <laughs> no, not everything. She said mostly handbags, right, Maria? Oh, my gosh. That pendant is so pretty. I just, I don't know if you heard that I was going to give it to my sister for her birthday next month. This is gorgeous. I love these greens and lime colors. They're always so nice. And... Here's another little tangulation, as I call it. But 
I should have probably gotten some needles. That helps. Maybe that's um, some of the frustration with uh, jewelry for sure, right? But it is calming. Some people think it's calming. I do too when I'm not on a live video. <gasps> but usually I give it to my husband to do. Okay. Okay, this one is broken. And that's the blue one. And the heart, I think, is silver tone as well. I think this is part of the blue one. No, no, it's not. This one's separate. We got some beautiful sterling yesterday. Or was it day before yesterday? Okay, here it is. This one is silver tone. It's so pretty. It almost looked like a Brighton for a minute. That is really nice. And this one's broken, but the beads are gorgeous. They look like the color of tanzanite. So I am going to put that in a bead lot. Someone can do some earrings or something with that. That is pretty. And here's the other half of that. And some other little remnants there. <gasps> look how cute this is. This is on an illusion wire. This looks like wood. It's so lightweight. Oh, I love it. The little flowers are so cute. Is it getting buffed again, guys? Buffering? Let me know because I feel like the, the chat has slowed down. That is so cute. It also has gold beads all through it. So that's cute. Looks very 70s, 60s flower power style. And, oh, nice. Look at this. These are pretty beads on here. It's like a, whoops, it's like a deep blue cone shaped. These, these are heavy metal beads here. And it's on a barrel clasp. That's really a nice combination. They almost look like bal Bali style beads. Those are pretty. And pour out some more here. Okay. What do we have? Oh, these are... This is one that is for crafting. It's just the cord. And... Here is another choker. This is pretty. It's like a multi-strand faux suede with a little dangle with rhinestones on that. This chain is cool. There's the other earring, the other gold stone. Yay. Little gold stone nuggets. Those are cute. Oh, those are pretty. I love that because it's the color of copper. But then it's got that really sparkly, sparkly, glitter-like look to them. That's pretty. This, I believe, is a hairband. What a cute hairband. I like it. Look at that. Gold chains. That is cute. These are glass. Interesting beads. They look like candy or something. Can you see those? Blue and yellow. Cream colored. That's a pretty strand there for sure. I like that. Look at that. It's a button earring. <laughs> it's a real button. How cute. It's even got thread in it. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I hope we find the other one. Ooh, these pearls are nice. They feel very heavy and they're knotted. And they have a vintage style clasp. Has to be taken out of there and put back correctly. Somehow it slipped through the wrong place, but that's not a problem. Let me see if I see a mark or anything. No. So I think they're just silver tone. 
but they are gloss. Excuse me. They are gloss and they're very well made. Very nice. Looks like a good quality pearl. Faux pearl. Very nice. Ooh, these are cute. Those are cute post earrings. Look at that. They're a flower and then a hoop. But they're going to sit like a post like that. That is so cute. And a little faux pearl. I hope we have the other one to that one too. Here's a brooch. And it says, Mom. How timely. That is so pretty. And it says, Love, Grace, Faith, Hope. Grace, love, grace, faith, hope, grace, love. There goes my alarm. And I sold a lot of watches and it didn't go with it somehow. AJMC is what it's marked. I don't know who that is. This is pretty. AB stones all over it too. All right, here are some cute earrings that are all single right now. So we'll try to find those. And this one's nice. This is magnetic. That'll go in my kid lot, too. Decor and more. I don't sell on my channel, no. If you see anything you like, please feel free to, to email me, which is usually in the description box as soon as I get off the video, anyway. But it's in all my description boxes, my email, and you can inquire, and I can give you a, a price and we can exchange information that way and i do facebook auctions every saturday at 5 p.m central but i don't sell directly on my channel oh, i just do videos on here but thanks for asking i appreciate it look at this gorgeous necklace that is cute that's a pretty piece i like this is like a moon glow stone on it just gorgeous I think there's a, a one link missing here, but that's not a problem. It'll just hold it better. That's different. I like it. I love the silver on that with the light blue. That's beautiful. Oh, I didn't look at this other chain that popped out with that other chain. Let me look at this one. It's, it's staring at me because these bars always make me suspicious. They often are gold. They are off in gold, and this just looks really sleek and really cool. Let me see if it's gold-filled or what. The other one was gold-filled. And this one is 925 sterling. So that's nice. I love the delicate chains. We always need chains. Thank you, Maria. We got a score here again. More sterling. There it says 925 right there. I love that. Is April in here? Hi, Miss April. I was thinking about you today because I've been wanting to do this video and I'm going to entitle it Broken Bougie and the details to come, okay? But don't steal my title, guys. <laughs> but I was thinking. What would go with broke and, <laughs> and that was it. Look at these tiger eye beads, guys. These are genuine tiger eye. These are nice. Ah, so pretty. Wow, this just got out. I tell you, some of the prettiest bracelets are stretch bracelets. Don't you agree? And then they have to go through this awful process of getting stretched out. Or not process, but inevitability. Those are beautiful. Those are definitely going to go in my um, bead lots. Okay. What do we do here? Tangulation again. Yeah, broken bougie. That's me. <laughs> that's me, and we're going to have a video with that title. I'm hoping to get it out this week. Details to come. I gonna get this out of here let me see if I can take this off first maybe that'll help aren't they beautiful those are really pretty I love tiger eye okay here we go 
these little disco balls are intriguing and I don't know what they do. I think it's part of a necklace in here. Part of another necklace, but it's really tangled. And it's already undone on that side. I'm going to have to come back to this one, guys. It looks like two necklaces. I did leave Robert, my husband, who does the untangling with two other two or three other jobs from the last bag but this looks like a multi of course this is like a very lightweight wood a multi strand and then this one looks like um, possibly a graduated or staggered necklace uh, layered necklace where maybe it'll fall like this with uh, black chains that's really pretty I like it though but there's a lot more to see and I don't want to spend too too much time detangling thank you April Okay. Oh my gosh, so many nice things in here, Maria. This is a pretty statement piece right here. I see abalone here too. New York and Company. Some of these costume pieces. The the piece that I accidentally left at the Goodwill today was from um, Aldo, that store. It was so gorgeous. I could kick myself. I didn't even remember it until I got home that I had forgotten to pay for that jewelry. But it's what happens when you're doing a thousand things at once. Well, I didn't take it. I didn't. I forgot to buy it. It's what happens when you ask them to hold things. They, well, they make you put it behind the counter. Look how pretty. Those look like genuine stones. But they're some kind of... Well, they are glass. That's really nice. I love the colors on that, too. That's pretty. It's a nice statement. Okay, I'm, I'm dropping things left and right here. Let me pick them up. So we still have a lot to look at. Oh, these are cute. Little drops. Rhinestone black. Very cool. 2003. This one actually has a date on it. Those are pretty. Oh, they're all black rhinestones. Those are pretty. And this is a broken one. This will go on a crafter lot. Very nice pieces, though. You could do a bracelet with these three right here. Wouldn't that be cute? I love that. What's in here? Some post earrings in a bag. Let me pull you back a little bit. Those are pretty. They're nice and heavy. Very nice quality CZs or rhinestones there. Pretty. And then we have a gold earring here. It's all gold, so I'm going to loop that, see if it happens to be genuine gold and it is indeed 10 carat it's marked 10 carat if we don't find the other one we'll scrap it yeah i'll show you where it says 10k right here always look on your earrings when they appear to be all gold on the stem here as well because that's usually where you'll find some gold and you know some of these earrings may be really small or just plain but many times when you see that whole thing being gold it will be solid gold and that's a good forty dollars in scrap weight right there this is a gorgeous earring i think this one's just a costume piece but it's very pretty i hope we find the mate to that and this one is a hoop single for now is there something in the paper? Let me, let me open this over here. Oh, it's it's one of your receipts, I think. <laughs> oh, look at these. These are cute, too. These are really cute. These are very 80s, 90s glam. They're kind of a Mexican fire opal color. Kind of that red-orange. Beautiful. 
chocolate. Are y'all talking about chocolate? Or did I say something? Here's a little ham hamsa stretch and a butterfly too. Cute. Stretch bracelet there. Oh, these are nice. This probably came with a set. Right, those are very pretty little drops. Rhinestone drops, and they are post. Very nice. Those are nice because they're not super long. Sometimes those rhinestones can really, really be on the face of the watch. I saw something on face will watch video. On oh, I don't know who you're talking to. Maybe you're not talking to me. Look, some little studs. I thought these were Rivoli's, but they were turned. These are Malachite. We got Malachite, Miss Maria. Look at that. It looks like sterling as well. These are cute posts. Yeah, these are Malachite. Pretty. You can see the banding on those on the side, and you can tell they're sterling from the patina on the metal. Can you see the banding of Malachite on those? Very pretty, and of course they're weighty as well. Those are cool. I'm gonna put those aside. That topaz one's pretty too, that little citrine topaz color. It's a nice one too. Okay. Let me see what else we have here. There's a separate bag in a bag. It's a pretty watch. There's a stamped earring. This it says Avenue. Very nice. Look at that. Kind of a lattice style watch. I love it. It's beautiful. Sorry for taking you back and forth. I want to show you the marks. That's a very nice one. Yes, I've been wearing my watches. I had to wear one today because we're testing. We're doing state testing. We're not allowed to have devices on us. So... I can't even check my phone to see what time it is. Ooh, look at this ring. That's cute. Silver tone. Pretty in pink there. Solitaire. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. Looks like that old 60s style engagement ring. That's pretty. Another watch. This one's so cute, fossil. This one has flowers. <laughs> flowers, they're so cute. At eight o'clock and what, two o'clock, it's got a flower. Can you see it? That is darling. Yes, I talked about my Alexandrite that I was, that. It's in 14 karat because I was wearing it in the other video. And I didn't see the comments until later on when I watched the replay. And everyone was asking, what's that ring? And I've shown the ring before. And I had just forgotten because I got so excited about this gift. This is really a nice band. I, it's very heavy. It looks like sterling. That's a pretty one. I don't see a mark, but it's heavy. Let me see if I... Yeah, there it is. It's a 925. Maria, another 925. Look at that. That's pretty. It almost reminds me of the pattern of a um, spoon ring. So that's really cute. I wish it fit me right there, but it doesn't. It's actually, it's a thumb ring. That's what it is. No, no, it's a pointer ring. Yeah, it'll be a pointer ring. Very cool. Thank you so much. That's a nice, heavy sterling band. Really nice. And, okay, both of these are sterling. They're marked sterling. One is carnelian, and the other is onyx. And we're going to see and hope that we get the matches on those. We'll put these aside. And those, oh, my gosh, we got two. Bingo. <laughs> I got a pair of gold earring hoops, Maria. Thank you so much. I thought we were going to scrap it for 40 bucks. Look at that. 
I got my hoops. I got my gold hoops. I have not had gold hoops in so long because I stopped buying them because I always used to lose my real gold earrings. And I finally said, I am not buying gold earrings anymore. And these are matched. And oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I even had some like this. I think they had three little rings on them. Back in like, what was it, eight? No, it was like 92 I had them. And I lost one, or I lent them to my daughter, and she lost one. Something always happened to them. But now I have a legit pair of hoops again in, four, in what was it, 10K, right? 10 karat gold. Awesome. Wow, that is so cool. Look at this earring. That's a pretty one, too. Let's see if we find and another band. This one says laugh. This one's 925. Live, love, laugh. Another 925 band stamped right there. I'm not lending them to anyone, no. Those will look cute stacked. What do I do with the other one? I put it over here. Okay, look. See, we'll have some stacking bands. How cool is that? Look at that. Wow. Thank you so much. Okay, this is one of those very, very... Look at that. It's going to be nice. It's not going to tangle up with everything, and it's so cute. I've many times have said how much I love the Illusion necklace, the way it looks, but it is a pesk. <laughs> it's a real pesky item in the jars, but this one came out nice, and it is the color of butterscotch. Look how pretty. I'm going to straighten that out and wear that. That is so cute. Oh, I love that. Look at that. And it did not get tangled. No, they're acrylic. I think they're acrylic. Can't tell. I think they're acrylic. They don't feel as heavy. If they were glass... No, they are glass. Oh, my gosh. That's beautiful. They're kind of frosted, too. Okay, we have some Alex and Annie charms that popped off. And I think I saw the bracelet here. Is this it? It's a little crooked. No, this, yeah, it is the Alex and Annie, right? Yeah, because it crosses like that. Well, it's bent out of shape, so we'll just put that in the crafter lot. That is a beautiful color, isn't it? Okay, here's another ring. Wowzy, look at this one, guys. And look at that. Oh, my gosh, look at this. Is this 9252? I'm going to just faint tonight if this is 9252. It looks like it. And I've been looking at modernist rings all day long when I wasn't testing the kids. <laughs> I didn't even get a lunch break today. I actually took my lunch at 3 o'clock. Okay, it is 925. Oh, my gosh. That is so cute. It's like the color of a citrine. It may just be a CZ. But isn't that a gorgeous style? And it is marked right there on the inside. You can see it. So, so Pata does? Hmm. It's so pretty. It's big, though. This one is definitely a thumb ring. <laughs> I'll probably have to sell that. That does not look good on my thumb. It's so beautiful. That is just awesome. Look at the way it looks like a suspension bridge or something. Cool. Oh, my gosh. That is really, really nice. Maria, you are just unbelievable taking my breath away here. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Maria, <laughs> you scored some good stuff. You're going to have to tell me where you shop offline. <laughs> No, she mentioned some places that I've never been to, so we're, we're going to talk. <laughs> this is, um, what's the name of that stone? Labradorite. Nice, chunky piece of Labradorite, too, guys, and it's definitely sterling. It's already got sort of a patina, purplish patina that, lab, that um, <gasps> oh, my gosh. Don't tell me my phone's going to go dead. That um, sterling gets. My phone just said it's low on batteries. I'm so disorganized wow this is nice too let me take off my rings i can try them on it's a big one it's probably a nine 
That's a beautiful piece of labradorite, and I'll tell you why, because it's thick. Oh, it's about a nine. That's gorgeous, though. This looks like titanium or something. Another big band. It's even too big for my thumb. But that's pretty. Oh, and we did get some matching on these earrings. These are sterling. Pretty. I'm not sure if that's inlay or... Um, enamel i found a gorgeous um jasper and black onyx mid-century ring the other day on ebay and when i got it i literally had to loop it because the inlay was so beautiful that it looked like enameling and that's what this looks like as well and it is covered in the back but it was indeed inlay this one is um mark 925 in the back and then it almost looks STS or something on the very bottom of that hallmark. So those are pretty. Really nice. Another hump. So this one also has the eye. Hey, Anita, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Are your kids back in, in the classroom yet? We got a lot of kids back after uh, after our break. The second semester. We got a few more kids back. I got almost a full classroom now of 22 kids. So I'm super excited about it. I'm glad to see them coming back. But I know you're in California and things are different everywhere. But I hope you're all doing well. Okay, this is a tangle here too of necklaces, but this is a beautiful pearl necklace. And it's got chains and pearls. This is together with the pearls, and it's going to be tangled. So we're going to probably show that to you later with an update. But that's what that is. And then it's tangled up with this necklace. That's really a nice drop on it. And this one has this going on. That's so cool. Look at this. This has all these dangles, they're all acrylic coming down, and then it ends with this. That's the way this one is. Wow. <laughs> You're so funny, April. This was an unbelievable gift, absolutely. It's a little piece of a, a barrette or something. Here's some more little earrings. These look like silver tone. Hopefully we'll find the matches to those. We have a cage pearl. This looks like the ones that um, maybe you can open up. I'm not sure. Yeah, there you go. I think these are like the ones, and it's sterling, that you fish for the pearl, and then you switch them out. This one just needs a cleaning. That's cool because it's, it's actually stamped right there. And then, um, you know, like you can get different colored pearls and put them in that little cage. That's awesome. Wow. Another Hamsa hand. This is kind of on a faux leather. And this is the one we saw in the beginning. I like this. Kind of a really cute mod piece. Like a little... I'm just wearing the rings that we just found, guys. That's why I'm wearing them on my thumbs. Because they're a little big on me. They're cute. What is this? A butterfly? Oh, it's a pendant. <laughs> I was looking at it backwards. It's a pendant with mother of pearl. It's like a butterfly in mid-flight or something. And she has pink mother of pearl and blue mother of pearl. And I'm so glad she's a pendant. Otherwise, I'd have to be praying for the earring. But that is so awesome. Isn't she pretty? And she appears to be stamped right there. Let me double check. She is. And you know what? It says... Subia or Sabrina? That's what it says on there. So let me know what you know about that. Looks like 925. And uh, yeah, the bale really looks like 925. It's completely soldered. I don't see the other mark right now, but I'm almost certain this is 925 as well that's amazing all right let me say hi to a couple more people 
We still have more to look at, guys. Thanks for hanging in there. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It's really not that much trouble to leave the chat for just a second. And hit that thumbs up. And uh, don't forget don't forget to hit the bell because when I go live, you'll know about it and you don't want to miss it. All right. Is Hey, Dawn, how are you? Guys, that's Dawn over at Hudson Vintage. If you don't know her, you should. She's got a fabulous channel. Fabulous channel with so much information. You got to take notes. You got to bring your legal pad and take notes. Another beautiful ring. This one looks like silver tone. I think these are like little stacker rings. Okay, we did get these two a little while ago, guys. <laughs> so we're just stacking them on. And we have a ID style bracelet says laugh. I think it may have lost its jump ring. And I think it's just silver tone. It's super cute. It looked like it may have had little things dangling on it too. That'll go into my crafter lot. And that's another earring. Here's a match on these. These were silver tone. Oh, that's a cute ring. Look at that. The dichroic glass rings. That's nice. I've never seen one in a coil style like that. That's different. I like it. And another glass band. These are so cool. We just pulled these out of this wonderful gift from Miss Maria, guys, a subscriber who was kind enough to gift me approximately 60 pounds of jewelry, and we are only on the second bag. So this will probably take us a month to go through it. We are not even finished with this bag. <laughs> Beautiful gold hoop here. Kind of your swap meet gold swag here. Love it. Love that stuff. Okay, this is uh, from, I think this might be for that watch. A little extender. More earrings. Here's a kid's charm bracelet with a purse. And a flower. Cute. A heart and a beautiful shoe. Super cool little shoe there. That's pretty. And I think we had this earring over here. Butterflies are matched up now. Cute. Kind of a peridot color. This little Labrador, little Labrador right ring just popped out too. That's why I'm wearing it. But I will put it over here. Another ring. Look at this one, guys. Awesome. This is an amethyst. Cabochon. I love these protruding masterpieces. Look at that. That looks so tribal, so pre-Hispanic, indigenous style or something. I love it. Definitely sterling. Let me check the marks if there are any. Linda, how are you, Miss Linda? So glad you're here. This is so cool. I don't see a mark on it right now, which to me is even better. I love on unmarked jewelry. It's another big one. Someone had a beautiful collection of size nines. Look at that. These are probably all size eight or nine. Labrador. That's a beautiful amethyst too. That's a deep purple amethyst. I kind of like the um, the blackened patina on that. And that's a nice thick band. That's a well executed ring. It really is. Okay, now we have um, another watch. I think it says Geneve. It feels like a little bit better better quality than the Geneva that usually comes in in uh, thrift stores and things. This looks like a really nice watch. I don't think it, I think it says George. Is that Target? Yeah, it says George. That might be Target or Walmart brand. I'm not sure, but it's a nice watch. All right, we have uh, this is a sterling earring, and this is this one. So we'll see if we have the match to that. It looks like blue lapis. It's truly a purple. It really is. Lots of little sterling pieces there on the earrings. Let's hope they come. Oh my gosh, a little onk. No, it's a cross. This almost looks like the Elsa Peretti design for Tiffany, of which I had in 18 karat gold and diamonds and sold on eBay. 
I think I've told you that before, right? And my daughter said, why did you sell that? I wanted it. But she never told me she wanted it, so it got sold. This is 925. It's very pretty. It's a Silpata. It's got a Silpata chevron as well. That's a teeny little thing. So pretty, though, and it's hefty. Nice weighty piece. I love the hidden bale on that. That's a beautiful. I love when they do hidden bales because all you see is the beautiful design. Isn't that pretty? Nice. I'll put that up with the gold there. Another band. This one's also marked. These look like little either pink um, pink garnets or maybe crystals, but it's got several little hallmarks on the inside of the ring. It looks like a size 9 as well. Let me see. Oh, it's Avon Sterling. Cool. Avon Sterling has been popping everywhere. That's pretty. That just needs a nice clean. Those are really pretty little stackable rings. See, we've already got three now. All these will look cute stacked up. Oh my gosh, Miss Linda, this was the... Well, we got Sterling in yesterday's unbagging too. But this is incredible. I just can't thank you enough. This is a little crafter piece, a little bow. That could be glued on a little bracelet or that vel velvet choker. That's cute. Put that in my crafter lot. We got another ring here with looks like CZs. It is sterling. It is marked right there, sterling. That's cute. A little big on me again, but beautiful. It's a butterfly. That is really cool. I like that. Okay. Another stretchy with the um, evil eye warden off. Ward off the evil eye bead there. These are glass beads. Those are nice. And kind of an imitation hematite. We got another piece of the watch. Some beads. We got a beautiful ring. This is another amethyst ring. <laughs> are you still there, Miss Maria? You are just taking my breath away with this gift. I can't even believe it. This is a beautiful one, too, and so hefty. It is marked simply 925. This is a hefty ring, heavy. It's marked right there, definitely an amethyst. I think I've told you guys before that I kind of like the blackened rich patina against amethyst. There's, they complement each other. They really do. This is big on me. Somebody who wears a nine is going to get really lucky when I put these at my auction <laughs> over on Facebook every Saturday at 5 p.m. Central. Yeah, size nine. Boy, can I guess them or what? These have been nines. And I couldn't wear a nine if I... No, this is a ten. If I dreamed about it. I mean, honestly, the largest I can wear is an eight. I do own a couple of eight and a halves. And only when I've eaten popcorn the night before do those fit. Here's another amethyst. Cute little heart. This one looks like Avon too. Avon Sterling. Let me check. Oh my gosh. This one does not say Avon. It just says 925. And it's this one fits. <laughs> it's the cutest, tiniest heart. It is an amethyst though. That is so pretty. We got the match on the... What did I, I call these shrimp earrings, but I saw in a listing on eBay, they were calling them puffy, puffy something, puffy spirals, I think. Those are pretty. These are classic 80s style, but I like the big, like I said, uh, swap meat swag stuff. Love that stuff. Okay, we did get the match on this earring. I just need to find the sterling hope. That's pretty. I think that's carnelian. I'll have to loop it. It could be carnelian or enamel. Sometimes those are really hard to tell. You have to loop them. Super nice, though. So we got these and the black one matched up. Nice. Got a little stretchy in rhinestones. Those are fun. This is pretty. 
Don't discount these either, guys. I don't know if you're familiar with Alexis Batar, but she does tons of work in lucite and rings and earrings. And a lot of times you'll look at them and think, oh, that's just a, an acrylic plastic thing. But take a good look because um, you don't find her stuff for less than $80 on the second market. And it's usually what they call lucite, which you and I can call plastic. All right, shells. These are gorgeous, black, beautiful. Natural shells on these. I think they're dyed. Some abalone and some black beads as well. Those are really pretty. Let me say hi to a couple more people. I hope everything's going okay with the stream, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you just walked in the door or if you're leaving. Don't forget to do that. I really do appreciate it. And because uh, I keep getting a power problem and I am plugged in. I don't know why. But that's why I'm rushing a little bit, too. I do have the bracelet to match the beautiful necklace. So cool. And we have some black beads. That needs a nice dichroic pendant. That'll look nice, and it'll straighten out those wrinkles. Look at that. Another earring. Some more little remnants. And another crafter piece here. This is a crafter piece as well. Some of that threading is coming out. When she said she gave me all her inventory, she gave me all her inventory. My husband had to struggle to get it out of the trunk. I don't know how you got it in my trunk, Miss Maria. That thing was so heavy. It's crazy. But I am just so grateful and so humble. You don't even know. Look how cool this one is, guys. I love this. I don't know what they call this kind of dangle when they've been putting a cluster, maybe a cluster fringe or something, but that is so cute. Look at that. Lavenders and pinks, all acrylic. Even these little almost raspberry looking AB stones and purple, but they're all acrylic. Super cute. I like that. And we got the other hoop for the, these just need a cleaning. They're actually really cute. And oh, we got another earring. This one was also sterling, and we did get the match. Love the little ones. Those will be cleaned up and nice and shiny soon. I showed you that ring. Oh, this one was super cute, too. This one has to be a Monet or something. It's just so nicely made. Almost a Yerman style, too. Looks like that cable in there. Cable style design. Love that. What is this? Just a little charm. I don't think it's silver. I don't see a mark, but it's a like an engravable charm. That's a little... Oh, that's cute. That's like a little floral earring. And I love this. I love glass beads. Especially the check glass. Don't you love those? Do you guys collect check glass? They're so fun and festive. I'm not sure if that's what this is, but these are just nice and pretty. There's even a star in there. Look at that. That's so cute. This one is marked. Is that say Chico's? It's pretty. Uh, Ivy and Alice and Ivy. No, Alex and Annie. <laughs> I changed their names. Oh, I was looking at it every which way, but the way I've never seen a rhinestone Alex and Annie or Ani, whatever her name is. <laughs> That's super cute, but we got the, I guess I got other ones. I have many other Alex and Annie's. This will go in my hippie lot. Hippie beach lot always gets plenty of stuff. Oh, look, we have one in purple and green. Definitely stackable. I had found some of these one time at the Goodwill, and I sent Liz some because I bought a whole bunch. Remember, Liz, my first um, time I sent you some friend mail after you had sent me some. Look how they stack up so cute. Yeah, they were kind of like this with different colors. It's like a um, peridot and then your amethyst. Super cute. And then I think this is also sterling. It is marked. 925 looks like some CZs, very cute. I think is that my cat? I hear a noise going on out there. 
Okay. Excuse the excuse the noise, guys. All right. Oh, this is cute. This is for work. This this is really cute for a uh, lanyard. You can put your lanyard tag there, your ID tag. That is really pretty in green and pink. You do? Oh, look, this matches that bracelet. That's cute. I think we have the match in there. Look at these earrings. Wow. Do you think someone made these out of a statement necklace? That is nice. The big one. It's a nice big earring, but it looks like it was part of a statement necklace, or maybe it matched. Who knows? Okay, now we have some chains and beads. Very cool. And these are pearlized. Kind of a, I don't know, kind of a golden color. Very pretty. And I did have the match. Oh, I like this earring. Here it is. It was stuck to this other thing. It's tangled and it fell off, but I'm going to fix it. Because I like it. That's a very nice lever bat dangle hoop. But it's stuck on this other necklace <laughs> that I already showed you with the charms. <laughs> we'll fix that. That's so funny. Okay, let me see what else we have. We have Mickey Mouse. He needs to be straightened out. He looks like bronze, or could he be gold? Oh gosh, now, it's heavy, guys. Oh my gosh, it's 10 karat gold. I'm going to straighten it out right here with my mandrel. Let's give a lesson on straightening out rings. Oh, this is a 10 karat gold Mickey Mouse ring. <laughs> and just turn it like this slowly. You don't want to pop it. You don't want to stretch it. Oh my gosh. This was weighty. 10 karat Mickey. I got a 10 karat Mickey Mouse ring. And I'm still alive. I cannot believe this this is so cool how cute look at that I still needs a little straightening so that's all you do guys you just roll it down your mandrel till you straighten it out and I actually like the one with ridges for straightening out rings gold is very soft 10 carats actually a little harder than 14 and 18 but that's what happens but see it's starting to straighten out already that is so cool. Let me show you where it's marked 10K. And you can tell by the weight and the look as well when I picked it up. There it is there. 10 karat gold. Oh my gosh. I'm going to just... Can you tell I'm excited? Oh God. Is this a pearl? No, it's like a little bronze. This looks like sterling too. It is marked right there. Maria, oh my gosh, you are so generous. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, see how it's marked right there? Let me see what it says. This one says 925, and it looks like it says Mexico. Okay, M-E-X 925, and I thought so because Mexican designs often have that little touch of bronze. This is a cool one, and I love that knot. It's a nice thick one, too. So it says Mexican MEX 925. That's very cool. Kind of um, modernist looking. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I am so, so excited. Talking over myself with excitement. Wow. This is pretty, too. Look at this gorgeous little turtle. He's marked, too, but I don't know what he says. I can't read it. Let me see what it says. Oh, my gosh. It says R.I.B. Copyright. Who is R.I.B.? He's heavy, and he's got a, a glass shell. That's glass inside of that. That is so cute. Here's the other little earring that match matches that other little floral the hearts were matched these are silver tone no they are also sterling they're marked too no these are marked nr who's nr nr is the marking on that one oh my goodness there's a little pearl 
Here is, oh, this matched that bracelet. And it's coming undone right here on this one. So I will put that in a crafter lot too because that can be salvaged, redone. People do so many wonderful things with the craft lots. Okay, we had this one here too. This looks like a turquoise colored bead. I don't know where it is right now, but I know we already had it. That was cute. Pearl necklace with an acrylic bead there. That's pretty. And two more necklaces here. They are a little tingled. Not a big deal here. They are acrylic and pink and black. And this one's New York. Very cute. Three strands. I love pink and black and gray. That's very cute. Acrylic. And then this long one here. These are acrylic too, but they look like tiger eye or something. And actually, these are shell. The gray ones are shell. And the others are, are acrylic. It's a nice design. All right, guys, that was bag number two. Come back for more probably in a couple of days. I will bring you the, a couple more bags. We still have about three or four still in that huge, giant tote. Again, Miss Maria, I'm so glad you were able to join me tonight. Please be sure and go and check out her stores, guys. She was a very generous, generous subscriber that gifted me. Again, approximately 60 pounds of jewelry. And did you see all of that sterling that popped out of here? I just cannot even believe it. Wow, I'm just floored. And I can't thank you enough. These are amazing, amazing pieces. And uh, like I said, I will link her, her locations where she can be found on Instagram and Macari and eBay. So you can check out what she does sell. But she didn't want to sell jewelry, so she offered to give it to me, and I just, again, can't thank her enough. But I do thank you as well for being here. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to do that, and also hit that bell. I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye.